So in this question, we are asked to draw the three-party diagram of a car and we are told that it's parked. That means that the car is stationary and we can also see that it's stationary on a slope. When it's stationary on a slope, we can tell that there's friction acting on the wheels. So that's our first force. So these are our two friction forces, one here and one here. The orientation of the friction forces are facing this way because it's trying to prevent the car from rolling down the hill. And the second force that acts in this diagram is the weight of the person and the car combined. And we draw the weight force at the center of mass. So over here, I'm going to assume that the center of mass acts on the one. And what we know about weight is that it acts vertically. So this is our weight force. And lastly, because the car is acting down on the slope, we expect our normal force from the slope onto the car. So these will be our normal forces. And that's all the forces that act on this car.